a straight face on me, so I see it. So I see what I'm doing. Yeah, I would do, but my um, camera's a bit dodgy on that side. Welcome everyone to today's hit <laughs> with me, Stevie. And we are going to do five exercises, get ourselves um, working hard. But before that, we are going to do a warm up. Bear with me. Good. Okay. So let's get ourselves warmed up. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to stand side on to you and I'm just going to hold on to something. And I'm just going to swing that leg back and forward, just stretching that quad out on the way back and that hamstring on the way through. So nice, loose swings. Don't try to control the movement too much or at all. Same on the other side. Okay, let's just do some stretching for the adductor abductors. So we're just going to bring that leg back and forth across the body. And you'll particularly feel that on the way out through the groin muscle there. Again, nice and loose. Don't try to control it too much or very much at all. Okay, same on the other side. Okay, right, let's do some deep squats. So, I'll stand front on. Take a nice wide stance, toes slightly facing out. We're just gonna push those knees out, keep the heels on the floor, chest nice and high, nice and deep, and up. Good, let's do a few of those. Knees out, heels on the floor, nice straight back, and up. Let's do a few more. Two more. One more. Sit nice and deep. And back up. Good. Okay, right. Rotate the right arm forward. Just get the blood into the right shoulder there. Get it warm. Rotate the torso a little bit as you do this. And backwards. Okay, same on the other side, left arm forward. And left arm backwards. Trying to do it a little bit slow on the way back. Get a nice big round shape with the arm and the shoulder. Again, just rotating the torso slightly as you would if you were doing backstroke. Just allowing that motion to come through. Okay, good. Palms facing me. Swing the arms back and forward, opening the chest up. And if your chest is particularly tight, you will really feel this as you swing back, feeling that stretch through the chest. Okay, and last one. We're going to put the hands together and we're going to split them. So we're going to swing one arm up, one arm down. And we're just going to alternate between the two.
Okay, good. Right, just shake that out, arms and legs. I'm just going to check my camera is facing as I wish. Okay, good. Right, so, five exercises. We're going to use our clock. And we've got to, in fact, no, we're not. We're going to do repetitions. I find that better, actually. So we're going to do, let's do 12 repetitions on each side, or for each exercise. And then just have a few seconds just on our toes between each one. Not very long, just to catch our breath or stand up or sit down wherever we might, wherever we might find the next body position. So it just gives us a second. And uh, we'll go through the five uh, in a row all together, and then we'll have a minute or so rest. And then the next set we'll do 10 reps, next set we'll do eight reps, and we'll just, as we fatigue, drop the rep range. So, first, let's just get on our toes. And we're gonna do a backward lunge, and then when we bring the lunge back up, we're gonna kick forward with a backwards leg. So if I demonstrate, I'm gonna go back, and kick. There's one, two, all together, three, four, five, six, seven, really kick forward, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Let's just go onto our toes. We're going to do the same on the other side. You ready? Step back, one. A bit of balance here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Okay, let's be on our toes. Next one. Looking forward to this one. Just a little variation on the squat, and we're going to throw like a backwards squat thrust in there as well. So, 12 of these, are you ready? So what we're going to do, squat nice and deep, hands go down, feet out, back to the squat, and stand. Good, there's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Good, let's be on our toes. Okay, next. We are going to do maximum power vertical jumps, but the crucial part is I want to see your knees coming right up and tucking in. Okay? So, nice shoulder width stance. I want to see a big, powerful jump. Knees tucking forward, not the heels tucking behind. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Notice how I use my arms. Six, I swing them back and forward. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more. Good, let's be on our toes. Okay, last one we're going to do, we're going to go down to the press up. So, take a shoulder whip stance. Wrist under the shoulder. Now you can go on your knees and have a nice straight torso, or you can go on the feet. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to press up down, take a step to the side, so it's a wider stance. And back in. 
Then we go into the other side. And that's one. And here's two. And there's three. And there's four. And there's five. And you may find you have to come down on your knees halfway through just to get through this. And that's absolutely fine. And there's six. And there's seven. At your own pace. There's eight. Nine. There's ten. There's eleven. One more. And there's twelve. Good. Let's just be on our toes. Just shake the arms and legs out a little bit. Okay, good. Right, grab yourselves a drink. Guys, one minute rest. Okay, good. Get, uh, get some food on, on board, guys. Definitely, because that's hard work. Okay. So, we know what we're doing. That's our five exercises. So we're going to roll through them again. This time we're going to do 10 repetitions on each. So are we ready? Let's be on our toes. Okay, let's take that backward lunge and kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good, let's just be on our toes. Same on the other side, are we ready? Backward lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good, on our toes. So this time, we have that lowering of the squat into the backward sort of thrust, if you want to call it that. Land back into the squat and rise. Are we ready? It's quite tricky, this one, I think. All together. Deep squat. One. Almost forget the squat there. That's me. Burpee speed up. Two. Three, four, five, six, oh, almost off the balance, seven, eight, nine, one more. 
10. Good on our toes. Okay, what's next? It's those high jumps. Notice how I use my arms. I do a short squat, power up, hands touch the knees. Are we ready? And I take a breath in, and then as I power out, the breath is out. That will help. Are we ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. One more. Okay, good on our toes. Let's keep that tempo up. Okay, last one, the press-ups. Quite hard this one, I think, personally. Let's go down. And you can start on the, you can do a mix of both, basically. It's entirely up to you. Are we ready? Off we go. There's one. Two. There's three. And pause and go again. Four. Five. Keep it going. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more guys. Nine. One more. Tricky one this one. back. Good. Let's just go onto our toes and shake that out. Good stuff guys. Just shake those arms out. Get it all loose. Okay, good. Grab yourself another drink and then we'll go into our last set. Eight reps each. One minute. Grab yourselves a drink guys. Just enough time for one more set. And if you're feeling fatigued, good. But just remember, this one's only eight repetitions each. So as we're fatiguing, just adjusting that rep range accordingly. Still working hard. This time we need to focus because the body's tired. Okay. In 10 seconds, last set, eight repetitions. Are we ready? On our toes. And five. So remember, it's the backward squat and the kick. I want to see power in the kick. Are we ready? Off we go. And kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's it. Eight on our toes. Same on the other side. Are we ready? Backward lunge. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, lost my balance. And boom, good. Eight, done. So are we ready for that squat into the backward thrust? Back up again and back up. Try not to 
If you misled with all those burpees you've done in the past, make sure you squat down at the start. Are we ready? Nice deep squat. Down we go, hands down, feet out, land it flat. Good, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, two more. Seven. One more. Deep squat. Down we go, land it flat. And we're up. Good. On your toes. Ooh. Good stuff, guys. Next, what have we got? Got those jumps. Big, powerful jumps. Are we ready? Remember the techniques where you're breathing, your arms. Big jump. Three, two, one. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, once more. Okay, good, be on your toes, because we've got one exercise to do. Miss those press ups. We're going to do eight, are we ready? Let's go down. Okay, press up on your knees or your feet, doesn't matter, whatever you can muster or prefer. Let's go. There's one. There's two. There's three. Good stuff, guys. That's four for me. That's five for me. Three to go. Six. Two more. One, once more all together. Good. Back up on our feet. Shape the arms and legs out. Good stuff, guys. So, let's grab ourselves a quick drink for a minute. Stretch your body out. Simple stretches. Quad stretch. Okay, same on the other side. Hamstring stretch. One foot on the heel. We're just going to go down. Don't have to hold the toes. It could just be the leg. Keeping this leg nice and straight. We're going to stretch the hamstring. And back the leg. Same on the other side, nice straight leg. Feel that stretch in the hamstring as you bend down. Okay, 
lattice go down onto the floor. And I'll do this one side on, I think. So, heel comes up into the knee, just going to stretch that glute out. I'm going to reach through the leg, rock the body back slightly, and you should feel the stretch in the glute and the side I just demonstrated. On the other side, knee comes up. This is my dodgy side, so it might take me a second here. And reach through, rock back slightly. Good, hold that stretch. Relax. I'm going to try and combine a couple here. So I'm going to stretch his calves out. So I'm just going to take a big step forward with one leg, and the back leg is nice and straight. Come forward into shot a little bit more. Now I want both toes facing forward, and I want you to just lean your weight and your chest sort of down towards the floor in front of you, keeping the back heel on the floor. Now at the same time. I'm going to link the arms behind the back. The body's a bit pumped up, so this might be hard. I'm just going to link the arms behind the back and try and stretch out. Focusing on both stretches, particularly the calf, don't want to forget that. Same on the other side, so back foot, nice straight leg, transfer that weight down and forward, get a stretch in the calf there, and I'm going to suggest we just do that again, just to get a double stretch on that, so arms link if you can, and you're not too tense, weight forward, calf stretch, try, oh god that's so difficult, body so pumped up upstairs, it can be really difficult to link the arms. I'm going to try once more. And I actually don't think I'm going to be able to. Incredible. I'm going to have to try a chest stretch in a moment. Yeah. Just stretch that calf out. Okay, good. So let's in fact, you probably did get that stretch behind you, so I'm going to allow you to just have that as your chest stretch. I'm going to have to stretch out after a little bit because I did get a very good stretch there. I'm a little bit pumped up. So we're just going to stretch the shoulders out and the triceps, and we are done. So arm across the body, nice relaxed arm, keep it horizontal, and just pull this arm in toward you and across the body. You should feel the stretch here in the shoulder. Maybe just stretching the shoulders out and the tricep will help us get a better stretch in the chest than the one I wasn't able to do. So it's all just tension, it's all just lactic acid and blood rushing into the muscles, pumping them up. This makes it very difficult with that chest stretch there. Okay, same on the other side. Run across the body. Nice relaxed arm, don't shrug. Just pull that arm in and across the body. You should feel the stretch in here, in the shoulder. Okay, relax. We're going to do some tricep stretches just because of the pump we got on on the press up there. So arms go up in the air, bend one elbow, just apply a little bit of downward pressure. Okay, 
arms up, same on the other side. Okay, and relax. Right, good. Now, if you could get the chest chest stretch like me, I'm going to suggest you find a pillar or a wall and just place your arm horizontal or vertical on the forearm up against the wall and then turn away from the wall and just press that arm in and that's going to uh, stretch your chest out. So I'm going to go away and do a couple of those because I was not able, oh we can now, get that stretch there now but the latter is probably a better one anyway. So if you want an extra stretch on the chest then um, that's your one. Otherwise, that's a fantastic workout there, guys, and we've got a good stretching at the end. Really good warm-up, so overall, fantastic uh, hit class. Hope you enjoyed it, and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.